Hello and welcome to part 12 in this series of tutorials for Excel beginners. In this tutorial we're going to look at printing. It's fairly straightforward printing but there's one or two things you need to look at in order to make sure that the thing that comes out is what you wanted. What I'll do first of all is show you what we had at the end of the last tutorial. I just created this pie chart and I haven't really positioned it on the chart on the spreadsheet where I wanted it. I've just left it for now. And if I go straight to print preview you'll see what we get. Now print preview is just that little white sheet button there with the magnifying glass on it even pops up a tooltip when you point to it. You're probably familiar with that button. So if I click on it now you'll see what we're going to get. Um, I can zoom in on that if I want to just put the little magnifier over the page and click. And obviously it looks a bit rubbish at the moment because I haven't positioned the chart properly um, and there's one or two things also I need to correct on the, on the data table which we'll look at in a second. So the first thing I'll do is close the print preview because that's not what I want. I'm just going to zoom out on the spreadsheet so click on the drop down zoom box there and I'm going to zoom out to 50%. Now that magnification I can't really see clearly what's on the spreadsheet but I'm not concerned about that. What I'm concerned about is just getting things positioned so it's okay for printing at the moment. First thing I'm going to do is move the chart and to do that simply click on the chart to select it and then I can click and drag and position it and in this case I'm going to position it just below the the sheet of data or the data table if you like and you'll see there it's uh, looking a bit better. Now if I go back to print preview I just want to show you by the way I've got the chart highlighted and if I go back to print preview now you'll see something interesting if I just click on that and zoom out it's only printing the chart. Now the reason for that is I've selected the chart um, it's worth knowing that if you just want to print one of your charts, you can simply select it, go to print, and it will just print the chart and nothing else. However, I don't want that here. I want to put on the data itself. So I'm going to close the print preview again, and I'll zoom in a little bit. First of all, I need to click away from the chart, and I'll zoom back into 75%. Now what I'm going to do here is resize the chart so that it fits within the left and right margins of the data table. In other words, I need to shrink this chart down so it comes into line with this right margin here. All I need to do is just scroll down on my spreadsheet a bit so you can see the full chart. Again, select the chart and resize it. You can use either of these um, corner drag handles. I'll use the one on the top right here. and I'm just going to drag in so it fits neatly under the data table. Now one thing you'll notice straight away is that the chart again reformats itself. It always does this. Um, whenever you resize a chart, Excel automatically rejigs everything so the, the numbers are different font sizes and uh, things on the chart get repositioned. Now I can just correct that fairly easily. I'm just going to drag that up first of all. Uh, I'm going to resize the um, the legend box there, so move it out a little bit to the right. I'm going to change the font size down to 7, a bit smaller. So it makes my chart a bit bigger as well. Uh, just drag out the plot area a little bit, make the chart itself a bit bigger again. There we go. And finally I'm just going to move those labels on the chart as well. So first of all just click on the label and then I could just drag one by one the ones that need repositioning. There we go, so they're all a little bit neater. Doesn't have to be perfect for this occasion. Now if I just click away again, you'll see there now that the chart is now in line with the data table itself. Now before I go back to print preview, I just want to complete a, a small piece of formatting on the uh, spreadsheet. If I just zoom back in to the spreadsheet there, uh, you'll see that the entry I put on earlier, rear window, and this case doesn't have the formatting of the rows above so it doesn't have all the border formatting. Now I can correct that quite simply simply by selecting the cells in row 8 with all the formatting on so that's everything from A8 across to D8. Click on the format painter button and then come down to row 9 and simply click on the title or rear window and that then applies all the formatting for columns B, C and D as well. So if I just click on the title there you see it's all done. OK, so that's all done. Let's go to Print Preview. So click the Print Preview button and here we are. So there we have the information as it's going to print. 
and you can see how our full sheet of paper and how it will look. Now what I want to do is modify that so it's more centered on the page and also enlarged as well. So I'm going to make a few changes that might be useful for your presentations. And what we need to do is go to the uh, setup option there, so click the setup button. And on the page tab, the first tab there, we need to make sure you've got the right orientation for your page. You can switch to landscape if you've got side-by-side -side data. Um, in this case the chart is below the data, so I'm going to leave it as portrait, which is fine. Below that I have the scaling options, and here I'm going to increase the scaling, so in other words the information on the page is zoomed in, or zoomed up if you like. And I'm going to change that and just click it up. It goes up in blocks of 5%, and I'm going to click up to 140. You can experiment going up or down as you like, but um, I can just click OK there and see how that looks, and that's much better. So go back to the setup dialog again. And this time I'm going to come across to the margins tab. And that allows me to obviously change the margins around the side or the top of the page, but they're fine as they are, they're automatically set. And what I'm going to change here is the centering options down at the bottom there. So you've got two little tick boxes, just check both horizontally and vertically, click OK, and what that does, it will center the data and the chart in the middle of the page there. I'm going to add a title on as well, and so I can do that by using the header and footer options in the page setup. So if I go back to setup again, come to the header and footer tab, and I'm going to create a custom header. And so I click the custom header button there, and that gives me the dialog. And I'm going to put some information in the center section. There you've got left, center, and right. I'm going to click in the center, and I simply put a title on there. And I'm just going to call it um, the title of the spreadsheet, I guess. Fred's Video Classics, and then put a dash and put Sales Report. There we go, sales report. Click OK. And this gives you a preview of that. Click OK again, and there we have the header on the page. You can add a footer as well, should you want to. Uh, uh, you can customise it, put the date on, things like that, if you like. But um, I will let you explore those options at your leisure. Uh, the final tab there, by the way, Sheet. I'll just show you what's on there. This is where we can, if you want to, add the grid lines on. But as I said before, because we've actually formatted it with the uh, the borders, we don't need to add grid lines here because we've done it our, ourselves. Um, you can also add the row and column headings. So, for example, if you want the ABCs and the 123s to show up as well as the grid lines, you can add those on. You can print in black and white. And also you can reduce the print quality by selecting draft quality there. Um, but I don't normally bother with those options. You can actually choose in your printer dialog whether to print in black and white or colour. and You might find that option more useful. Anyway, that will do for that, I think. That's all set up fine. Click OK, and that is exactly how the spreadsheet will print. So, uh, I won't waste a sheet of paper printing it out now, but you get the idea. There we go. So, if I actually go to my Print button now, it brings up the printed dialog, and I can make some changes here as well. Um, I can print range all, because obviously that's exactly what's on the sheet. If you want to select pages, as you know, you can click on that and choose a particular page or a range of pages. Um, down here, print what? At the moment the active sheet is highlighted, but you can also just print a selection from the spreadsheet. I'll, I'll show you that in a second, but um, I will leave that for now. I won't click OK and print it. It will cancel out of that. And we'll go back to our spreadsheet. Now, I said about printing a selection. If, for example, I just wanted to print this table at the bottom here and not bother with the chart or any of these totals and so on, to just the data if you like, I could just select the cells up here, go to the file menu, come to the print option there and click selection. Now you can preview that if I click the preview button there, there we go, it's got the header on as well, I can remove that if I want to, but all I've got there is just the table of data so I can actually control exactly what Excel prints, I'll close that print preview, I can control what Excel prints by simply selecting specific bits of information when you go to File and Print, choose Selection, and it will just print out whatever you select, however small or large the selection. So there we are. That's printing in a nutshell. Um, hope that was useful for you. So thank you for watching again, and see you next time.